bonjour tout le monde. Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you how to select an artist for your school's Artists Inspire Grants project. Right now, we are on the homepage of the Artists Inspire Grants website, and the web address is artistsinspire.ca, as you can see right up here. And when you come to the homepage, when you're selecting an artist or a project, first thing to do could be to look at these catalogs here. So we have the 2021-2022 elementary workshop catalog, as well as the high school workshop catalog. So let's click on the elementary workshop catalog. And then of course we have our information, our partners, Learn Quebec, as well as the English Language Arts Network. And we are funded in part by the Government of Canada. And this is the general information about the Artist Inspire Grants project. If you have any questions at any point, you can feel free to send an email to artistsinspiregrants at quebecelan.org or call this phone number right here. And you will be communicating with Barbara Von Thadden, who's our grants administrator. She's wonderful and can answer all of your questions. Now, if you keep going through this catalog, first you'll come to the table of contents, which has all the specific workshops that are featured in this catalog. And these are only examples. They're just a slice of what uh, we do offer, what our artists offer. All of these workshops are flexible. So artists are ready to work with you to plan out something that makes sense for your class, for your school population. Let's say I wanted to work with Alyssa Kuzmaroff in Productions Oracle. The first thing to do would be to contact this artist or this arts organization uh, to see if they're available for the project. And so if I go back now to the Artist Inspire website, I'll go up here to connect with artists. You can find uh, Production Oracle's contact information. So once you're here in the Connect with Artists section, you can see that we have the catalog links here as well. And this is our database of professional teaching artists that identify as being part of Quebec's English speaking communities, carefully vetted by us and are uh, ready to realize these amazing projects. And so on the left here, you can search for what you're looking for. I'm just gonna put in Oracle. Sometimes it's, usually it's the artist name. Some artists are parts of organizations. And so you might have to search for the organization name. And in this case, we have both Elisa Kuzmarov, Productions Oracle. We can see here that her discipline, the main discipline for Productions Oracle is film, photo, and digital media. And they're located in the English Montreal School Board region. And so I can just mention here that you can actually change the discipline that you're searching for. You can narrow down your search by discipline, also by age group. And now we can only fund projects that take place in Quebec public schools. However, we have included these fields such as uh, artists that have experience working with CGEP aged students, adult learners and senior citizens uh, because sometimes organizations are looking for professional teaching artists that could realize some projects. And so we invite you to share this as a resource um, of English speaking artists that are able to facilitate high quality virtual and in-person workshops. You can also toggle this button here that will show if the artist is part of the culture in the school's repertoire, if the artist is part of both Artists Inspire and the culture in the school's repertoire, then funding could be combined to create a larger, more residency type of project, which can be a very interesting um, experience for students, staff, and the artists alike, as well as the community often benefits from these types of projects. You can select where the artist resides or is based out of. We always try to connect local artists with local schools. You can also select which school board area the artist is willing uh, to travel to. Although with virtual workshops, this is a moot point. 
Once you've found your artist, you can click on their profile and you'll see some general information, some photos of what the artist does, a little bit more of a descriptive of the projects that are possible. Sometimes artists will have demos or videos showing what it is that they do with students. Sometimes there will be audio links, um, all this to give you a better idea of what it is that they do. Artists also show on their profile their contact information, which is what we came here for in the first place, to find Productions Oracle's email address. And you can also find the information about um, who they have experience working with and all of the other fields that were mentioned before. So once you have your artist's email address, you can go ahead and copy that and then paste it into your email browser and communicate with the artist that way and start to talk about when this project could actually happen. So good luck selecting an artist and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.